Pisces people, there are two messages from my tarot cards and from the planets. Um, this period, when um the new moon in Sagittarius takes place. Okay, so first of all, um, your modern ruler. Neptune is domicile in your own house, but we don't have to specify this because this is going to happen for the next, I don't, I don't know, couple of decades. Okay, but then at the same time, it is um sextiling. It is sextile, um, Saturn, yeah, Saturn in Capricorn, and it is trying. Oh, it is trining. Okay, Scorpio, Mercury, Mercury in Scorpio. Okay, so this creates a harmony. This cre um, this makes you feel um at ease. This makes you chill. This this makes you feel you're being yourself. So this is a really really harmonious, really peaceful energy for yourself. And there are only two things that you have to pay attention to. Okay, um Uranus or some people say Uranus, mm. and that is your um the ruler of your twelfth house, the modern ruler of your twelfth house. <laughs> It is retrograding, or it is retrograde, because I, I sometimes like treating um, retrograde as a verb, so I say retrograding, okay? Mm. It is retrograding in your third house, mm. which is Taurus, yep, and uh, it is considered a fall in in Taurus. Uranus is considered a fall in, in, in Taurus. It is a really bad position for Uranus, okay? And... There are two aspects concerning Uranus, Uranus. Okay, the first of all is uh, in your ninth house, Mars is domiciled in Scorpio, and it is opposing exactly in its exactitude. Okay, in a in a really exact degree, it is opposing. There is this opposition between Mars, a really powerful, strong Mars, and this weak, really, really weak. Uranus and Taurus. This is the first aspect. And the second aspect is a better aspect, which is your classical ruler, Jupiter. Okay, for Pisces people, your classical ruler, Jupiter, is domicile in your 10th house, which is Sagittarius. And it is trining this Uranus. Okay. So, together, what are the messages from tarot cards and from the stars? First of all, beware of your sleep schedule and pay most attention not to derange your own sleep schedule, especially when you communicate with people from afar, from afar, okay? So when there is this uh, time zone gap, okay, for example, when you're supposed to sleep, but they are at work or it's daytime somewhere over there across the pond, for example, mm. and in this case, you are prone to... Um, sacrificing your own sleep schedule to accommodate those people's schedule so you don't sleep but then you keep texting with them okay so this is going to harm your health okay this is going to ruin your health your your sleep schedule mm. so pay attention to this or in general just not just um do not just do not derange your own schedule especially because of traveling or because of um um some higher studies okay for example you're in you're in college you're in university so you are pulling all nighters before your, before exams, okay? So do not let this, do not let these affect your sleep schedule. Mm. And the second of all is that you are going to meet friends, but then this is not an entirely good sign. Why? Because when you meet these friends, there is something um quite uncomfortable, uncomfortable there, okay? And that's why you have to sleep well. You have to boost your energy. You have to um, be totally at ease, okay, in order to prepare yourself mentally and psychologically to meet these friends, where a certain extent of um, uncomfort, discomfort is going to happen. Why? For example, you are going to see some old friends, but in the past, you guys argued. So this is actually to reconcile, okay? This is a chance of um, recon reconciliation. Reconciliation. So it is not just just to oh, see see friends and then just give give each other, give each other a hug and stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. you guys are going to resolve some past issues. Case number one, or let's say you you you're going to meet some old friends, and that's because your friends need your help. They need to borrow money, or they need something from you. 
So it is not um, a totally joyful case, right? And um, the third case, for example, is that you're going to meet a whole bunch of friends. But then among these friends, the, there are one or two or three persons that you don't particularly like. But still you have to hang out with them, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to feel some um, ill at ease, some discomfort, okay? So um, please prepare yourself well, mentally, psychologically, whatever, physically. Sleep well and be energized enough to overcome these troubles okay these um not very um pleasant friends i would say not very pleasant friends and also um yeah just try not to um text too much um or just do anything to ruin your own sleep schedule okay and i've actually chosen several days okay some golden stars day dates okay for you to um do anything especially for you to meet friends okay that is the first the second and the third of december okay and beware not to do um anything major okay or anything like um like, or, like let's say to meet friends okay do not meet friends on the 10th of december or any other dates onwards okay so good luck to all of you